Bronx 9. Pierce all banks by ready to open for business. Wayne, why can't I go inside the bank with you? I told you, Ed, nothing your first job. You go into town first and stand lookout. But I'm your brother. I, I ought to be with you. Next time. I'm ready now. Your picture will be alongside mine soon enough. Yeah. Assured, madam, your funds are perfectly safe with us. And you stay hidden behind that desk, all right? Are you sure they'll be here? Uh, that is the word we got, yes. Will there be much shooting? <laughs> well, there usually is. We'll try not to muss up your bank too much, Mr. Wayne. Oh, dear. Too. We'll be able to get back Laredo before nightfall. No, we got plenty of time. We still got that reward to collect. And some of us have certain matters to attend to. Sheriff, lock this fellow up for us, will you? We'll pick him up on our way out of town. Here's his gun. That's the first time I've ever known Reese to be that excited about collecting a reward. I don't know, he's been acting pretty funny lately. He keeps talking about quitting the Rangers. <laughs> quitting the Rangers. That'll be the day. Yeah. Before you put your share of the reward away, you can give me the five you owe me. What five? For the bar bill and Laredo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh... Thanks a lot. I'll take ten of that, Reese. <laughs> What's for? <laughs> Blacksmith bill. Shoes for your horse. Oh, well, uh... Pay the man, Reese. All right, all right. Much obliged. <laughs> oh, Reese, I almost forgot there's the fifteen dollars I paid when you broke the mirror in the saloon, remember? Oh, yeah. Well. Here you go. Hey, hey, Wayne. 
Wait a minute. You got me into that fight, flirting with the saloon keeper's daughter. Well, I guess you're right. Here is five dollars back. <laughs> Visions of Helen of Troy. Ma'am. Mr. Bennett. Hello, Miss Fletcher. I got the money. Right here. How wonderful for you. Now, shall we go? Uncle, you remember Mr. Bennett from the Texas Rangers? He inquired yesterday about buying some land. Well, yes, of course. I remember, but you didn't have any money. Well, I got some now, and I want a piece of Texas. Good for you, Mr. Bennett. Well, now, I got a nice piece of land down here in the southwest. Let me see. Located right there. How about that now, Mr. Bennett? Well, I don't know. I, uh, I don't particularly like that border country. You get all them, them border bandits, you know. Oh, of course. I understand. Uncle, I think we might have a piece of land Mr. Bennett may like. And it's not too far from here. Parcel 16. Sweet 16. That's my favorite number. I'm sorry, Mr. Bennett. But I promised a couple who inquired about it yesterday I'd hold it for them. Oh, Uncle. Well, they're coming in today to let me know. Well, uh, well, they ain't here. And you know what they say, first come, first gets. Mr. Bennett is right, Uncle. And we do have to leave for Crystal City soon. Well, that's true. And after all, they didn't leave a deposit. And as you say, business is business. Now nah, you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, let me see. Uh, Parcel 16 is, uh, is right there. How does that strike you, Mr. Bennett? Oh, yeah, yeah. Between Floresville and Sasho. Hey, that looks like pretty good land. How much is it? Three hundred dollars. And a bargain at the price. Oh, gee, three hundred. All I got's two hundred and twenty-five. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Uncle, I think we should let him have it. After all, he just performed a heroic service for the town. <laughs> you know, Mr. Bennett, my niece's generosity would be the ruination of me yet. <laughs> All right. Sixteen is yours. Oh, if you two ain't the nicest folks that ever lived. <laughs> no, I still can't figure why she picked Reese. Went right to him, didn't she? Didn't even see us. Hey, maybe his looks have changed and we didn't notice. Huh. They haven't changed that much. Hey! Hey, fellas! Hey! Hey! Hey, those white I got here! <laughs> My reenlistment paper. And if you look real close, you'll see it ain't been signed. Well, now, that's, uh, that's funny, Reese. We always figured you could at least write your name. You want me to exit for you, Reese? Ha, <laughs> uh, ha. Uh, what I'm saying is I ain't ever going to sign it again. No more dirty details. No more taking orders. No more Captain Parmalee. And no more Texas Rangers. Reese, how many times have you retired from the Rangers? Ten or eleven? Well, this time it's going to be an even once because I'm doing it. Good for you, Reese. What do you say we have a drink on that? Come on, come on. Yeah, one more drink. Wait a minute. Oh, no, you guys ain't getting me drunk, no, sir. I'm sticking a pencil in my hand and, and getting me to write on that paper. No, sir, you tried that last time. It worked, didn't it? Well, I'm on to you guys. I'm on to you. Oh, Reese, you're never going to retire from the Rangers. The Rangers is in your blood. Oh, well, no more. I bought myself a piece of land. What? From now on, you're talking to a property owner, fellas. That's what she was selling, huh? Yes, sir. At 2 p.m. tomorrow, you'll be talking to rancher Reese Bennett, ex-ranger. You know, fellas, I... I think he means it. Putting himself out to pasture. Well, maybe he's doing the best thing, guys. Maybe. Just getting a little old, aren't you, Reese? Old me? Well, I can handle all of you and then some. Huh. It just ain't going to work this time, fellas. It ain't going to work. And if you ever decide to leave the service, why, well, I just might give you a job. Punching my cattle. <laughs> just so you won't go hungry. Well, that's nice of you. Well, I'm out to look my property over, boys. You want to come along, you're welcome. 
No, thank you, Reese. We've got to get Wayne Emerson from the sheriff and take him to Laredo. Well, it's it. It's on the way. Come on, you guys. I, I want you to be there when I take a hold of that, that first handful of rich grazing land. Well, all right, Reese, if it's, if it's on the way. Come on, help us get him out of jail. <laughs> No, uh, you go ahead. I've been having trouble with my cinch. I better get it fixed. Uh. Rangers? That's right. Your friend said he got a sudden interest in real estate. He's gone on to Crystal City. Is sure. a good-looking blonde on that stage? Yes, sir. Miss Fletcher and her uncle. Thanks a lot for the information. You're welcome. He said he had a loose cinch. Loose females, more like it. Oh, women. Oh, well, poor Harry. Won't be able to see my property. <laughs> Sweet 16. Would you excuse me? Oh, yes, certainly, sir. Why, them dirty land slickers! You got the cuffs on the wrong man. Oh, that Fletcher's. Wait till I get my hands on him. There won't be a bone bigger than a mosquito's nose that ain't been broken twice. Hey, Reese, when, when are you going to grab yourself a big handful of that good grazing land? Looks like it might kind of slip through his fingers, huh? <laughs> At least they could have done was throwing a boat. <laughs> they really skinned you good, didn't they? No, oh, why don't you shut up? No. What's the use? Broke again. $225 at the bottom of the lake. Hey, Reese. You know, you know this ranch and stuff, it's way overrated. Sure, Reese, man, as tough as you are, why? You need a lot more action than, you, than just sitting around watching a bunch of grass grow. That's right. Oh, dumb folks like me, they, they, they just shouldn't have dreams, that's all. Reese, that's not true and you know it. You had to be awful doggone smart to get us out of some of the scrapes you did, you know. Well, that don't mean nothing, Joe. That was Ranger stuff. Well, that's what we're talking about. Stick to the job you know best. Oh, what's the difference? You you guys just take Emerson in and I'll just sit here and look at that lake and keep thinking what a prize chump I am. You know, Reese, uh, Chad and I have been thinking. You know, it was really you that nailed Emerson. Wasn't us. That's right, Reese. And that means that you got a bigger share of the reward coming. It uh, amounts to about $225, in case you're interested it's yours if you want it. Well, uh, no, no, I'd, I'd probably let some other smiling female with, with purdy eyes just slick me right out of it. Well, I guess that means that you're going to stay with us in the Rangers then, huh, Reese? All you got to do is sign it. Wait a minute! Look at that water, would you? Look at it! Look at this water! And cattle need water! And lots of it! And I got it! Why? Why? I'll make a fortune off this water hole! Just off the ranchers around here! <laughs> sure you will, Reese. Then you can buy yourself the biggest spread in the state of Texas. Yeah! With a thousand head of longhorns! Just a Roman all over it! <laughs> Some yahoo think he can put it over on Reese Bennett, huh? Well, they're the ones that got out slicker. They're the ones. <laughs> ah. Huh. Hey, Joe. Taste this, will you? That tastes kind of funny to you. Well, I hate to say this, Reese, but... There's enough alkali in this water to kill every horse in the state of Texas. Well, now... That does it! Why, them no good dirty land slickers, I'll break every bone! I'm going back to Crystal City, and I'm gonna get my money back! If I gotta squeeze it out of them with my own bare hands! That's the old Reese again. Sure sounds like the old Reese. We'll go with you. Well, now, ain't you guys gonna take Emerson in? Well, sure we are. We're gonna tag along with you, old buddy. One for all and all for one, Reese. Besides, it's on the way. Well, now, if you two think you're going to talk me into re-enlisting, you're crazy. Reese, that's the furthest thing from our minds. Mm -hmm.
Now, wait just a minute. We can't put him in jail. We put him in jail, Parmalee knows we're here, and then we're really in the soup. Yeah, Reese, you're getting out at 2 o'clock tomorrow, but we'll still be in. Well, what's the difference? All right, all right, Reese. We'll check into the hotel with Emerson, huh? Well, then, come on. Let's get going. Wait a second, Reese. At least take his handcuffs off so he doesn't attract too much attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, all right. All right. Don't get any bright ideas, Emerson. Remember, you wanted alive or dead. <laughs> We'll get us a room and we'll deposit Wayne in it and then we'll get a bite to eat and then we'll call on him. Okay? Oh, I can eat any time. All I want to do is get my hands on Reese, those people. Just, I'm going to break gentlemen, every... Uh, gentlemen. Uh, 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 gentlemen. F.J. Wiggins at your service. F.J., we'd like a room. I'm very sorry. We're uh, full up. I'm sorry, too, Mr. Wiggins, because we've been on a long, hard ride and we're tired. And we got a prisoner we have to take to Laredo to stay on trial for murder and we want a room. Oh, dear. He does look desperate. Uh, you see, uh, you're a marvelous judge of character, Mr. Wiggins. Well, now, I ain't the prisoner. He's the prisoner right here. Look here, Mr. Wiggins. I'd just like that room for a little while, sir. Well, there may be something. There was a reservation for today that was paid for, but uh, they're not going to arrive until tomorrow. Mr. And... Wiggins, we would appreciate you extending us any special courtesy. Uh, no, I don't think so, uh... It wouldn't be practical. It's the bridal suite, you see, and uh, I simply couldn't... Uh... Would you gentlemen please sign in? You bet, for all of it. Reese, you owe us ten dollars. Well, now, why should I pay for you and Joe, huh? Why should I? Reese, we're only trying to help you, Bart. And Now, you mustn't disturb any of the matchless decor of the bridal suite. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. Coffee in America is simply marvelous. <laughs> well, perhaps the Duke would like some more, Sally. No, no, thank you. This will do. Well, come and sit down, Duke. Oh, please, call me Eric. <laughs> How sweet. By the way, it's very wise of you deciding to settle in Texas. The land here is incomparable. There is simply no end to it. <laughs> and all so beautiful. Uncle Conrad's land company has many of these beautiful tracks for sale. And you just go right ahead and take advantage of him. <laughs> you are very kind. Come in. Your Grace, the telegram you were expecting has arrived. Ah, thank you, my good man. This has been most enjoyable. You must join me for lunch. I insist. Ah, we'd be honored, sir. Good day. Good day. I hope you'll enjoy your stay at the Carlisle. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, Reese, champagne. Fruit Luda, Joe. Dead. Hey, that's tight. Uh. <laughs> oh. Well, now all we gotta do is rustle oh, ourselves up something good champagne. to eat. <laughs> well, you get something to eat. I'll be in room 201. Now, now Reese, Reese, we're all in this thing together, right? Well, I can handle this myself. The least you can do is let us watch the fun, Reese. Yeah. Good day, gentlemen. Well, what do you know? The Duke of Norfolk has arrived. Where is the bride? Chained to the bed. Yeah. See you guys later. Uh, going to visit the Fletchers? Well, now, a social call ain't exactly what I had in mind. 
I'm going to beat my money out of him. Ten cents at a time. I wouldn't do that. Why not? You'll get in trouble with the captain. We'll all get in trouble with the captain, Reese. We're not even supposed to be here. Well, they got it coming and they're going to get it. But they haven't broken any law. Haven't broken any law? All I got was a parcel full of salty water. The land is underneath it. Let me see that. Hey, come on now. Give me that back. Reese, now look, why don't you look at it this way? You got stuck, so just forget it. Let's go back to Laredo. I ain't going nowhere but Suite 201. Now you guys go on back. Then only one of us will get in trouble. Wait a minute. There is a way to make them break the law. Break the law? It's their bones. I'm going to break. Reese, he might have an idea. Look, Reese, why don't you just listen? For I'm through second. listening. I'm through listening. I'm going to start doing. I'm going to turn him upside down and empty his pockets of my money. And then I'm going to take his head and drive it through the floor like a tent stake. And anybody tries to stop me, they're in for the same medicine. Well, I can see that nothing we say will change his mind. Uh, shall we go? Uh, wait just a minute. We, uh... We forgot Emerson. Somebody's going to have to stay here with Emerson. That's right. He, he could break loose. Are you kidding? A circus strongman couldn't snap that post at solid mahogany. I think we better test it. Hmm? Uh, Eric, this looks like a job for me. Why, you? You're not going to say you're stronger than I am, are you, Chad? Well, Joe, who says I'm not? Now, look at here, Chad. You might be sneakier. Oh, Joe, don't give me that. This post could be busted. The oh, one of you will have to give in. We're wasting time. Give me them handcuffs. While you two are jawing, them flexes will be long gone. Come on, I'll give you a hand. Just put your wrist through that. We'll lock it up on here. Well, now, when I count to three, you try to break out. One, two, three. Go. Oh. Oh. You sure you can't get out? Not a chance. Now, come on, take these things off. Oh, sure. Hey, Chad, you got my key. No, and Joe? I don't have it. Well, didn't I give it to you, Reese? When? Back in Pearsall. Oh, you must have forgotten her. Hey, now, wait a minute. What's going on around here, anyhow? Where are you going? Uh, to look for the key. Uh, maybe Sally has it. Don't you go through that door. Don't give me that gun. Reese, now listen to me. We're only doing this for your own good. Oh, <laughs> you two guys. Is that a hold till we get back? Oh, you no good bolts are plucking sons of buffalo skinners. Come back here, try all of you. How do you rangers ever catch me? Oh. There's a letter for you, Valerie. Oh, from Mother. Ladies? Pardon me, ladies. How would you girls like to make a fast $10 each? Sure. What's your game, mister? You see those fellows that just went in the bar there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they're friends of a friend of mine. And they just got into town. And I'd like to see them well entertained for about an hour. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure. Come on, Linda. Mr. and Mrs. Mark? have a crisis if Carlisle finds out that I have received payment from two parties for one suite I will have committed hotel suicide I need time understand 
Do you understand? Make yourselves comfortable. Make yourselves comfortable. Comfy? What, what have you done to my bridal suite? Well, get me a hacksaw. I gotta get out of here. Uncle, Eric has made up his mind. Good. Yes, I, I know exactly what I want. What would the cost of ten parcels be? Oh, about uh, seventy-five hundred. Well, isn't that rather high? Oh, it's choice property. You check with any other companies, you'll find our prices are much lower. Uncle, in the spirit of friendly bargaining, why don't we say seven thousand? <laughs> you know my niece's generosity will be the ruination of me yet. <laughs> well, sir. Where would you like your property? Yeah, parcels 9 to 19. Hmm. <laughs> well, now, I'm afraid this is rather embarrassing. You see, I'm afraid I can't deliver parcel 16. Why not? Well, you see, it's uh, a sort of uh, a committed. We're holding it for someone. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. You see, it happens to be exactly in the center of the property I want. Uh, would you happen to have another group of ten parcels in a similar area? I'm afraid not. Pity. I'll have to put off my purchase. Or perhaps try another company. Could you recommend one? Uncle, perhaps we could contact the other party and explain our situation to them. Well, yes. All right, I'll... Uh... I'll see if I can get in touch with him right away. Would you excuse me, sir? Reese Bennett. Range of Barracks, Laredo, Texas. Sold you wrong parcel of land. Will return money for deed. Confirm immediately. Signed, Conrad Fletcher. Carlisle Hotel, Crystal City, Texas. We'll send that out immediately. No. Oh, please, careful, the honeymoon bed. Uh, uh, hurry, Mr. Bennett. Uh, Give me that. All right. All right, Emerson, come on. Let's move. Move it on. Hey, wait a minute. You owe me ten dollars. I beg your pardon? I paid for this room. That was a cleaning fee. It's not refundable. Listen, you little weasel. I don't get that ten dollars back. There won't be enough of this room left to clean. You included. Now, what's it going to be? We'll have to do in careful consideration. Yeah, that's more like it. You know, a fella can only get slickered so long, then he gets mad. Know what I mean? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. you two. The Rangers and Big Mouth here. Hadn't been for the bride and groom, I'd, I'd still be hanging on the bedpost up there. Well, we were just coming up to get you. Oh, look, Reese, we had a party all arranged. We're gonna have food and drink and girls. Well, yeah. I'll be out of the Rangers in a few minutes. And as my last official act, I'm gonna dump him off with the sheriff. Like we should have done in the first place. And then I'm gonna get my money and then it's goodbye to all of you. You mean you ain't gonna sign up again? No. Let's go. Come on. Two o'clock. I'm out. Chad, Joe, you heard? Yeah, we heard it. Yeah, you're out. Feels kind of funny. Get out of here. Get moving. In here, 
are you, Sheriff? Wayne <laughs> Emerson. That's right, Sheriff. We're Texas Rangers. We got some business to take care of here in town. We'd appreciate it if you'd hold on to that one for us. Sure. And this one, another one of his men. Another one of his men? Now, don't you listen to these clowns, Sheriff. I'm a Ranger, too. Now, wait a minute. Is he a Ranger like he says? Ask him. Are you a Ranger? Or well, of course I am a Ranger. What do you think I am, huh? Please. Well, I mean, I used to be. You see, it's... It's after two o'clock, and after two o'clock, I just ate. Oh, Chad, tell him. Just this one time, will you? All right, Reese, I'll tell him. Yeah, he's right, Sheriff. He he used to be a ranger. But then he went wrong and fell in with the Emerson gang. Ha! This time I got you. Now, come on, Wayne. Tell the Sheriff who I am. Go on, tell him. Well, go on, tell him. Ooh, you dirty liar. Now, go on, tell him. Well, that's good enough for me. You two guys. Now, why didn't you tell him I was a ranger? Couldn't do that, Reese. That's not the truth. You're not a ranger. Tell you what we're going to do, Reese. You sign this paper here, and we'll get you out. Oh, no, no. You don't talk me into that again. I'll tell you that right now. You mean you don't trust us? Something like that, yeah. Look, Reese, can't you see you signed the paper? You're back in the Rangers, the man comes back, and we tell him the truth. Sure. And you guys got that paper. All right, if that's the way you feel about it, sign the paper, give it to the sheriff, and that way you can get it right back. Oh, yeah. Well, um, you got a pencil? Just happen to have one right here. Now, back off. <laughs> I got something for you. Now that'll show you that I've been telling the truth. Very good, Sheriff. Clever. Very clever. Well, what is that? It's a signed confession. No. Oh, no. But he said it was going to get him out. Oh, it'll get him out, all right, just as soon as I turn it over to Judge Parmalee in Laredo. Oh, when I get out of here... I'm going to whoop your hide so you look like a, like a second cousin to a piety. Watch him real close, Sheriff. He's dangerous. Dangerous? Let's get back in the cell and get quiet. Back up, back up where we spent it. Doesn't back up no place. That ought to hold him for a while. Yeah. That'll give us time to get back to our unfinished business. Let's move out, you two, Ranger. Up on your feet. Ranger? Well, that's what I've been telling hey, you. Hey, Wayne, what's he doing in here with you? Well, is it? Wayne? Oh, never mind. Wayne, watch me get my first Ranger. No gunshots. Dumb kid. We take him all up for protection. Protected? I ain't protecting nobody out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> in time, those reenlistment papers aren't going to do any good. Let's go. Where? Where have you been? I'm seeing the sights with Eric. You know, I'm going to miss the Duke of Norfolk. 
<laughs> Fortunately, we'll have his money with us to ease the pain. Now, you listen here. I haven't heard from Bennett yet, and I don't think I'm going to. Now, it's best we forget about the Duke and move on. We've done pretty well here. I assured Eric you would get 16 for him, and he's gone for the money. Uh-uh. Selling the same piece of land twice is fraud. Now, we've managed to stay within the law so far. Let's just keep it that way. Uncle, when we started, that satchel was empty. Now, I want it filled. A few more sales like Eric's, and it will be. I'm sorry, honey. You're going to have to do it without me. Uncle, you wouldn't leave a defenseless relative stranded out in the West, would you? I could never make it without you. Oh, honey, don't you know you can't con a con man? Uncle... Let's face it. You can't make it on your own. You never could. Now, you need me, and I need a nice, respectable front like you. Oh, you just like your mother. She didn't train you properly. As a matter of fact, neither did I. Just this one last sale. No. Uh, come in. Come in. Oh, yes. Harry, how nice. Uncle, tell him the good news. Well, did you get 16 for me? I have the money right here. Uh, why, uh, yes. <laughs> but it uh, wasn't easy. Uh, it's a deal. Well, all right. I'll just uh, go along to the land office and prepare the deeds. I won't be a moment.
Harry. Hey, you better not move around too much. That limb's liable to break, and you're liable to fall. Oh, will you quit fooling around and get me up out of here? <laughs> Chad, what did you do with my re-enlistment paper, huh? You paper, Reese, this is no time to talk about a paper. Get me up out of here. You know, Chad, I figure uh, from the bottom of your boots to the ground's about, say, uh, 50, 60 feet, give or take an inch. Of course, I, I never was very good at arithmetic. Are you about through? You know, Chad, they say how fast something falls depends on how much it weighs. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, where's my paper? Your paper? This ain't no time to talk about a paper. Come on, boy. That's the boy. <laughs> there it is. Emerson! Old Joe's doing a good job. You know, Chad, one of these days you boys are going to make fine rangers. <laughs> Please come back here! As soon as I get my money back. <laughs> That's where you've been hiding while all the fighting was going on, huh, Chad? Very funny. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, easy does it. Uh, come on, Chad boy. There you are, sir. Your deed and your receipt. Your money, sir, which completes our transaction. Bad it does. And let me say it's a great pleasure doing business with a gentleman. Thank you. And now perhaps you could explain something to me. Oh, Uncle can explain anything. Good. Because I have here two deeds to parcel 16. Now, I'm afraid that's land fraud, isn't it? I warned you, Sally. We're all through. Shall we go? those deeds. I can understand the gun. What I can't understand is where you concealed it. The deeds. Don't make me shoot. I will, you know. Sally, you couldn't kill me. You know you couldn't. Don't come any closer. When I held you in my arms this afternoon and when we kissed, didn't it mean anything to you? I'm warning you for the last time. Careful, you wolf. That hand cut glass came all the way from Vienna at great expense. Careful. Mr. Bennett, you're not allowed to right, hear. Those two are warning shots. This time I mean it. Gang, put a couple of land slickers out of business. A good week's work, man. Thanks, Captain. Now, look, Eddie. If all this sweet toothing and back slapping is over, I'll take my money and get going. Eddie? Well, now that's your name, ain't it? 
Ain't that your name? Remember, you're talking to a free man. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Here you are, Bennett. Good luck. Well, uh... I just want you fellas to know there ain't no hard feelings. El Maximo's been hitting the border settlements again. He was last seen holed up in Bryce Canyon. I think maybe, Captain, if we came down Benson Pass behind him this way... Mm -hmm. Very good idea. Yeah. Oh, it's a terrible idea. Now, what you gotta do, you got... Chad and Eric, come... Down the right side here, I'm sure I can sneak right through here and go up the... And get your head blown off. Everybody knows El Maximo uses a double-line guard system. Oh, I'll tell you, Captain. These three's the sorriest excuse for Rangers I ever did see. I think the best bet is to come up the gorge near Davis Point and... Davis Point? Captain, you gotta be loco. Now, the only way you're gonna get across is Mulligan Trail. Now, look. Two guys here and two here. That's all. <laughs> Ah, good thinking. Chad, get Finsterwald. He'll join the three of you right out right away. Finsterwald? Why, he, he, he's more liable to shoot Chad than El Maximo. Hey, he did come pretty close once, Captain. He'll have to do. He's all we've got. Well, it has to be Finsterwald. It's got to be Finsterwald. It's got to be Finsterwald. He's all we've got. Now, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I ain't gonna let these three clowns get shot up just because cause you can't get good men, Captain. Here. Does, uh, does this mean you're rejoining the Rangers? Well, uh, I suppose so, yes. Yes, what? Well, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, what? Yes, sir, Captain. Now get moving. <laughs> Arise. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, Captain. Thanks a lot. Reese. Uh, uh, uh. But I'm telling you right now, Captain, next year I'm quitting for sure. <laughs>